welcome to the video series setting up your Firefly system. In this video we're going to talk about the basics of setup starting with configuration, general, and store setup. This will be the first step of our configuration and here is where you're going to enter some information about your restaurant, your store name, all of your address information, the splash message 1 and 2 are going to show on the main screen of your POS. If you'd like to add a logo that can be used on your main POS screen and your reports, just click, click Browse to select your logo here. We've got a couple different graphical templates, which you can see in the template preview. This will affect how the colors and graphics look on your system. The options down here let you control how your ticket numbering works. Typically you're just going to start at 1 and reset daily, but you can also choose to go continuously until you get to a ticket number. Some of these optional features such as subtotals, enabling internet functions, we recommend that you keep on. The rest of these you might want to leave off until you're ready to use. Now it's time to set your hours. We want to specify what your start a week is. This is important for your payroll calculation purposes and other graphs and charts that will start on this day. It defaults to Monday, but you can select a different day to, and set that instead. For each day of the week, go ahead and set your hours. Now if you're open past midnight, like on Friday for example, let's say we're open till 2 a.m., make sure you check the next day box. Your day parts are going to control reporting, promise times, and other features in the system. We default to breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but you're welcome to add additional day parts. Just specify the times for each, again using the next day if you go past midnight. Here's where you'll choose your valid order types. These are the types that we allow in the system. Go ahead and check each one that you'd like to make active. The station licensing below you don't need to worry about as that will be set up for you. Let's talk for a minute about your email configuration. We recommend the easiest way to set this up is to just use a Gmail address. If you don't have one, you can register one for free for your restaurant. This will just be used for the, e the POS system to send you email alerts. Once you've selected the Gmail address, you can just enter your username and password for your account and then come up with your mailing name. So let's say this is my pizza place from Fire, Firefly POS and then you'll, you'll enter your username and password here. This way the system will be able to send you mail. Okay, a couple other quick things on the screen. The HQ setup you only need to use if you're running our HQ multi-store reporting software. The store format this lets you get into some detailed options such as your area code, phone number format if you're not uh, using a traditional US based 10 digit phone number and whether you want to enforce that length. You can also control your currency symbol, um, the date format that you'd like to use and whether you want your weather in Fahrenheit or centigrade. I'm going to skip the address format for now because we'll have a different video that goes into that in more depth. Finally on the screen is a remit to address. This is for your house account invoices if you'll be using that feature and you want to have customers send payments to a different address other than your store. That's it. Now you can save changes on, on this screen and you're ready to go.